comes out, or you can make a bat. My biceps. Hot fish! <laughs> As a professional mountain biker, I'm always out there on my bike, building new trails and shooting new film segments. This requires tons of energy. So I'm constantly looking for fun and creative ways to get new foods into my diet in order to stay healthy, strong, and live up to my full potential. Over the next few days, I'm gonna be hanging out with my friend Sierra, who's a nutritionist and an amazing chef. We're going to see if we can source and forage all local foods to create an amazing meal together. We really try and grow year round. The greenhouses are unheated. This is all just growing on passive solar. So vibrant and full of life yeah. too. So that for sure shows in yeah. the, the food and the nutrition that comes out of the ground. Maybe some parsnip, some potato, yep. leek, some garlic. Doesn't have to be intimidating. No. It can be simple and healthy. Want well, to see some real parsnips? Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh out of the ground. Today's been a powerful experience as we got to connect with the farmers who really educated us on soil health and appreciate the art of growing nutrient-rich food. It aligns why supporting our local farmers is for the health of ourselves, our earth, and the community. Right now we're driving out to a spot that's full of big golden chanterelle mushrooms. So what got you into foraging mushrooms? just from spending lots of time out on the trails and like seeing different mushrooms and I didn't even know what was edible and what wasn't at first. You definitely need the experience and you have to, you have to be 100% certain. be perfect for the soup. Oh, two big ones. Kids from candy stores. No. I'm the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful mushroom. <laughs> found a nice little ecosystem of chanterelles just everywhere in this moss forest bed. It's amazing. You just look in the forest and there's all these little golden specks of color everywhere. And you just know it's just nutritional powerhouses ready to be cooked up. Go fish. I haven't fished in a while, but I got my buddy Pete with us. He's guiding us today, and he's a, he's a pro. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a cucumber, I think. It could be worse. It could be not having fun. <laughs> mm. After many attempts, I finally got a fish on my line. <sighs> Struggle's real, bud. It is real. <laughs> my biceps. <laughs> so sore. 
<laughs> oh. I got excited, I caught a fish. It was a spring, not a coho, so we couldn't keep it. And it was big, probably a 30 pounder. And then it won the battle. Shimano reel wasn't strong enough. No luck catching any fish today, but Pete was kind enough to share some of his catch. It's these authentic relationships that really connect us deeper to community. We've gathered everything to create a nutritious meal now, so we're gonna dive straight into cooking. Getting outdoors, breathing fresh air, and sharing experiences amongst each other is really what nutrition and health is about. Feeling parsnips, cooking mushrooms. Working with these vibrant, beautiful ingredients by a lakeside kitchen just can't be beat. We are making a chanterelle leek root vegetable stew with a ginger miso broth and some kombu. And we also got a green salad that we got from our farms, fire roast fennel and some chanterelles, and the wild spring salmon with parsley chimichurri. It's gonna be delish. So, it's gonna be so good. From stepping foot onto the farm to cooking down at the lake, every part of this presented a fun challenge and a new learning experience. The flavors you taste from fresh local ingredients like this are unmatched. You can just tell it's healthy, clean energy. This is awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. So much fun.